nitpicks. And Alan talking about movies. They may be best friends, but they always disagree. Nitpicks. And Alan, I seen that. So this is actually the end of the podcast. Uh, the podcast was over two hours long. We talked about all six episodes. And, and we Chubbs. Deci- and Chubbs. Can't forget about Chubbs. Uh, we decided that we're going to, instead of putting out a two-hour episode, we're just going to put out like six 20-minute episodes or something like that of each well, individual. One, on... <laughs> well, some, one of them will be like 40 minutes and one of them will be like two minutes. That's but, yeah. true. Yeah. But we're, we're, I'm going to split them all up. And so this will be one of those six episodes. It'll be the first one, obviously. You're not going to have this intro being like episode four. No, I'm just going to reuse this intro for all. Oh, okay. But, but I'm going to leave that part in the intro as well. Okay. Archangel oh. is number two. I Archangel think. is almost the worst episode of Black Mirror. It, so the first five minutes, uh, was the most stressful thing I've watched in a long time. And that's just because I'm a father of little girls. And I was like, yeah. where is this show going to go? Like, yeah. I, I assumed as soon as they put the camera in her eye and the mom was watching it, something terrible was going to happen and the mom was going to have to watch it. And I was like, I don't want to, yeah. I don't want to watch that. Like, I don't want to get that in my head, whatever, whatever is coming. And then she got older and I was like, oh, okay, it doesn't matter anymore. But that first five minutes, too- I was super stressed. Well, it opens with, like, the, the baby, like, not not being, like, alive or something, which is supposed to set up, like, an overprotective, like, vibe for yes. her. Which, okay, I mean, like, this whole episode is a mess. Like, it's an absolute mess. It's, it, 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 it's so close to being worse than the B episode, in my opinion, purely because it's way more pretentious, and, like, Jodie Foster's directed this so badly. Um... But, like, it's not as bad as the B episode, um, in my opinion. Yeah, this one, I, like, I was just bored watching this yeah, one. Yeah, I mean, it's just, like, so weird because, again, you've got this such a brilliant concept that you can do so many things with. Like, there are parents that would like this, uh, would like this device. Yeah. There are, there are parents that would like this device. And the way they went to it was really strange because then they they made the device become like banned, and then one time when she doesn't go home, get home, she like cracks and like gets out the device again, and it's kind of like I'm sure she would have been like she would have done something that worried you like before then. Because she she gets that device out like so quickly, it doesn't even take her that much convincing. Like after years of it being in the in the attic, she's like, "Oh, she's late. I'm gonna get the device." Out. Well, no, it was it was when she was calling all the parents. She called. Yeah. She called like I don't know how many people, but this is, I think they showed her calling like six different people, and no one knew where her daughter was. Yeah, which I, I mean. I kind of get, like, I don't yeah. know. I think, I think the issue, like, with the first episode and this episode is the show doesn't really know who the story is about. Like, splitting it yeah. between the mother and the daughter, there is, like, too much, like, who are you, like, supposed to be connected to? You know, like, Exactly. Yeah. It's, 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 you're, that's so right. That's so completely true. I think you've really hit the nail on the head with that one because like we lose the mum and it becomes like about the daughter for like Mm. 15 minutes and then it goes back to the mum and then it ends on the daughter. Yeah. And it's kind of like, well, their connection's not very strong and neither of them are very likable. Um, I just, I just find the only interesting thing about this stuff, all the, all the concepts, all the conceptual, conceptual stuff and imagining a better Black Mirror episode. That is what, <laughs> that's, that was my enjoyment of it. Yeah. Was just imagining, oh, like, 
what if she's become so obsessed with watching what her daughter does that she's sort of like lost her own identity? Yeah. And then what if like every time she eats a sugary snack, she can literally see this, the, the status of her. And then what if it comes into like future, like future, like predictions, like IQ predictions, mm-hmm. like future, like body predictions. Like, and it's like, oh, if you read this, like, you're going to be a smarter person. And, like, guessing, like, what career they're going to have. Like, it could have got, like, really, really insane. Well, I thought they like, set up a great episode. And then they yeah. they turned everything off. And I was like... Yeah. Like, because when she... Like, you see her starting to stab herself with a pencil. And she's, like, clearly super affected. I thought the commentary was going to be, you can't... You can't you know, could like protect your kids. You like the harder you try to squeeze and protect them, the more they're going to get out and get away. Right. Like, yeah, the more you try to shelter them, the more damage you're going to end up doing. And I thought that's where it was going. And they're like, Nope, just kidding. They, it just affected her to start a relationship. I think that was the weird thing was that they were like, yeah, it's banned. Like just turn it off. And it's kind of like, if I was that doctor, I'd have been like, give me the tablet. Like, I wouldn't be like, I'll just turn it off and yeah. leave it in yeah, the yeah, attic. Yeah. yeah. Like, and it, it's just sort of strange that they, they acknowledged that that technology was not good and that had been shunned. Like, earlier on. And then the thing that made the daughter, like, beat her mum, like, quite, badly with a tablet was like her watching her like have sex and it's kind of like that's that doesn't seem like a normal reaction and i guess the idea that they were going with it was because she wasn't like because she was sheltered from it she became like a violent person but they didn't really expand on that enough for me to care or to really understand why she would beat her mum up with the tablet and it seemed like a nice visual metaphor, and that's why they put it in. Well, that way they could put something in the Black Museum, too. Oh, yeah, like the all-important Black Museum <laughs> prop. Yeah, yeah it was... Uh, it, this one was Ray disappointing. Ralph's arcade cabinet made it to the Black Museum. The what's that? Wreck-It Ralph's oh, the arcade record. cabinet. Yeah, yeah. It was in the, it's in the front. That's why you couldn't really see it. Like, and I think the reason why, like, Archangel's almost the worst episode is that it, like, really annoyed me, but, like, I still have barely anything to say about it, other than, like, I never want to watch it again. <laughs> well, and that every time someone says, oh, I haven't seen Black Mirror Season 4, I always just say, don't watch Archangel, and, like, don't watch Crocodile, but if you have an urge to watch Black Mirror, like, after you finish the other episodes, watch Crocodile. But if you feel good, then don't watch it. Well, Crocodile's next, right? Yeah. Should we just move on? Like, I don't even know what to say about Archangel. Yeah. It's garbage. Yeah, it's not, it's not very good. Like, the, the acting's not good. The dialogue's not even particularly good. It's got a good concept, but other than that, it's just like really weird. Well, it's almost the worst one. The, the crazy mom thing, it always, it like rarely ever plays well on screen. Yeah. You know, it's like really hard to feel any compassion towards that character who's like just insane trying to protect their kid. Yeah. She should have just been the main character and then it should have ended in a different way. Yeah. It should have been either about the mom understanding that she can't control her daughter, like she, like giving up that control or whatever Black Mirror twist they want to do. You know, even if the daughter beats her to death at the end, they should have killed her. She shouldn't have survived. But, uh, or it should have, I just, it should have been about the daughter being overwatched and not knowing it. It was just like everything was a stereotype as well. Yeah. Like there's nothing like special about this girl character and there's nothing special about this mom character either. And it's like she would just sit around like, she just sat around like worrying about her daughter for the whole entire episode. And then the daughter would just be like experimenting with, with different things. And it's kind of like, what, like, 
why would you why would you watch your your daughter have sex like why would you do that and then why would you like have it saved on there because that's how it's quickly found mm. is that like she has it saved on there and i find that weird and i just kind of feel like I don't know, maybe I'm, like, too left-wing as a person, but, like, I'm pretty sure if I found out that my daughter was having sex, I'd be, like, have the conversation where I would just be, like, oh, you need to use protection, and then just leave it at that. Yeah. I don't think I'd have this huge breakdown where I'd, like, like put, like, <laughs> pregnancy medication in her food. Oh, yeah, but I forgot I just, about that. That was crazy. I just... Don't understand why this mum character can't speak openly and honestly to her daughter because yeah. it seems like they have a fairly good relationship. So I just don't understand why she would be like, okay, like, listen, I need to talk to you. Like, you weren't home. I was worried. So I got out the bloody archangel. I'm really sorry. Like, I've, I've violated your trust, but you violated mine by lying to me. Um, and just like, I just don't understand why you wouldn't do that. Or but even I'm pretty sure most people would do that. Or even to leave the the father, the grandfather, let him survive, and then have it as her breaking down, seeing what her daughter is doing, and him being like, "Hey, you you did this too. Like this is part of being a kid, and like figuring out a way to come to grips with that, and still, I mean, she can still go crazy, but I don't know. Yeah, it, I, I just I just don't really. I think that they had a good concept and they wrote like a first draft mm. and no one like, no one like debated it because it's like, though the concept is good, like, where do you really go with it? Yeah. Like, where do you really go with that <clears throat> other than like her becoming a freak and then her being like, Oh no, the very thing I didn't want to happen happened because I was so paranoid about it happening. Yeah. Like, and that's kind of just like a bit boring. So I don't know. I think they just had the good concept and were like, this concept's so good that we just have to make something out of it. Well, and then I reckon Jodie Foster like made it boring. Yeah. Yeah. It was not a good one. But Didn't she uh, direct Crocodile. like flight, flight plan? Was that what she directed? She was in it. I don't know if she directed it. What did she direct? I know she's directed garbage films before. Let me see. <laughs> Hack into the Jodie Foster mainframe. <laughs> uh, director. Black Mirror, Money Monster, Orange is the New Black, House of Cards, The Beaver. That wasn't great. The Beaver. Was that a movie? Yeah, that was did with she dire- Mel Gibson. Right after he had his breakdown. Well- and he only communicated to his family through a hand puppet that looked like a beaver. But that's, I wish that was actually it. That's a hundred percent it. I, I swear that that's exactly what it is. That's amazing. I really want to watch that now. Here, I'll send you the IMDb stuff on. It's weird. Can we both it... watch that and do an I see that on it. Yeah. Let's see. So I just sent you the link on the IMDb link. Um, okay, great. But yeah, no, That's it's so funny. I, I saw it when it first came out and it was, it, well, apparently it's unmemorable. Do you think it's part of the black mirror universe? I hope so. That the, the puppet is just a cookie. It that, is a cookie. Yeah. That he's actually is, the puppet, the cup, the puppet can communicate seven emotions. So it's legal. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's from what I remember it's actually better than it sounds, but it's still really weird. Anyway, yeah, crocodile. Crocodile. Wow, that was great conversation. It's too bad we disagreed about everything the whole time. Uh can you tell yeah. me about your YouTube channel? Uh it's called Nitpicks. Um check out my review on Bright with Will Smith in. Uh Follow now, me you on said Twitter at nitpicks. This is your favorite movie of 2018 so far, right? Uh, yeah. Have you watched any other movies yet? No. So that it has to be. 
Well, it wasn't out in 2018. But you watched it in 2018. I mean, this is an outro you're going to repeat in all the videos, so <laughs> let's just keep it short, yeah? No, nope, let's keep going. to listen to let's me talk going. about Bright six times. What else, what else about Bright? Will Smith is your good. favorite actor? Let's go through all the Will Smith movies. That no, was something that upset me on Twitter. Oh, come on. <laughs> but no, you can follow us on Twitter at I Seen That Pod.